Okay, so from the question, we know that the probability that Kira answers the phone, okay, so probability of success is 1 over 5, and we know that the probability of failure is going to be 4 over 5, because that's 1 minus 1 over 5 is 4 over 5. So what we think of the question is, Connor rings Kira's house once every day for seven consecutive days, consecutive days, find the probability that she will answer the phone on the second, fourth and sixth day. So that's failure, success, failure, success, failure, success, failure, but not on the other days. Okay, so it's going to be probability of failure, four over five by the probability of success, 1 over 5 by the probability of failure, 4 over 5 by 1 over 5 by 4 over 5 by 1 over 5 by 4 over 5. Multiply them all together, you get 256 over 78,125. Find the probability that you will answer the phone for the fourth time on the seventh day. Now, this question, for the fourth time, is going to be like a Bernoulli trial. Okay, so think about the first six days. What do we want to happen on the first six days? We want three successes in first six days. And we want success on seventh. Okay, so how many successes are we going to be arranging? Well, let's go back and look at the Bernoulli uh, formula first. So n choose or probability of success to the power of or probability of failure to the power of n minus or. So it's going to be I'm just going to move that over to the side for a second. 6 choose 3. The probability of success was 1 over 5 to the power of 3. Probability of failure, 4 over 5 to the power of 3. So that deals with that section there. And means multiply. Probability of success was 1 over 5. Multiply it all out, and we get 256 over 15,625. Okay, so next question. Connor rings the house once every day for N days. Write down, in terms of N, the probability that Kira will answer the phone at least once. Okay. Well, what's the probability in one day that she doesn't answer the phone? It was 4 over 5. If it was two days, the probability she doesn't answer the phone is 4 over 5 by 4 over 5. This is two days, which would be 4 over 5 squared. If it was three days, what's the probability she does not answer the phone in any of the three days? It'd be 4 over 5 cubed. What's the probability she doesn't answer the phone in N days? That's the probability she doesn't answer the phone in N days. But that's not what it's asking. They're asking for what is the probability she will answer the phone. So think about it at least once. This is doesn't answer the phone in N days. Well, if we want the probability that she answers it at least once, we're going to go 1 minus 4 over 5 to the power of n. And that's the probability she will answer phone at least once. Find the minimum value of n for which the probability that Kira will answer the phone uh, at least once is greater than 99%. So what value of n is this? 
okay because it says the probability she will answer the phone at least once so when is this greater than 99 percent so when is 1 minus 4 over 5 to the power of n greater than 0 0.99 Okay, so minus 4 over 5 to the power of n is greater than, subtract 1 from both sides, minus 0 0.01. Multiply both sides by minus, making sure to change the direction of the sign. Now, like in paper 1, we're dealing with an unknown exponent. So what are we going to do? Go to page 21 of your log tables. Page 21. Top right hand corner. a to the x is equal to y. Our unknown exponent is equal to log to the base a of y is equal to x. Identify what is what. x is the unknown n. a is uh, 4 over 5. So it's log the base 4 over 5 of y which is 0 0.01 is less than n. Type that into your calculator and we get n is equal to 20.637 and says find the minimum value of n, so n is going to be equal to 21. Okay, so all in all, the question begins off very nicely. And um, this first part in marks is 0, 4, 5, 10. You'd be very, very hopeful to get the 10 marks out of that. The next part for the Bernoulli trial, 0, 2, 3, 4, so if you've done much revision and probability, you should definitely have picked up at least 15 marks for that. The next question is where it gets a little bit vague for people. It was 0, 3, 5. Okay, but a lot of easy marks going for that. You got 3 marks if you wrote down that. Okay, so quite a lot of easy marks going there but if you didn't get the pre if you didn't get C you weren't going to get part D really and it's only two four five okay. all in all accessible at the start probably not the easiest towards the end